Just like with driving, there are standard rules that govern safety and courtesy in the terrain park. Look both ways, obey signs, don't run into things. Based on common sense, ski areas have given these rules a snazzy new name, smart style. There are four simple rules in smart style. Follow them and you'll be on your way to making friends and progressing your skills. Don't follow them and well, you're an accident waiting to happen. Rule number one, make a plan. Before riding the features, come up with a plan for each one. Your speed, approach, and takeoff will directly affect your trick and landing. Rule number two, look before you leap. You wouldn't pull into traffic without looking, so before hitting a feature, check it out to make sure that everything's in good condition. Size it up to gauge distances, speed, and snow conditions. Figure out a plan. How fast do you need to go? Is there a gap to clear? If you don't look things over, well, you could be this guy, and no one wants that. More common sense. Only stop where you can be seen by others. Like driving, you wouldn't park your car in the middle of the road, so you should never stop on a takeoff or a landing. If you fall, get out of the way as fast as you can. If there's a bad crash, an X sign with your arms notifies riders at the top to steer clear. A circle means it's safe to go. Rule number three, easy style it. Just as drivers need to focus on one skill at a time, you've got to start small and work your way up. While the pros make that huge kicker seem totally doable, stick to small features and slowly develop your skills to prevent unnecessary injuries. Don't do this and you can quickly get in over your head. Not only will you look silly, but you may end up with metal rail shavings splintered under your exposed midriff, for instance. Rule number four, respect gets respect. Don't be a dink. Courtesy starts in the lift line. Wait your turn and alternate. Don't bash your board into the person in front of you and watch the potty mouth. There are kids around after all. Call your drop and let riders who've been waiting go ahead of you. Not only is it annoying, but snaking can even lead to collisions. Oh, and use each feature for its intended purpose. If you can't hit the 20 foot flat down street style rail, go to the small park and work your way up. With a little bit of practice, common sense, and courtesy, you'll be a natural in the park. We'll deal with your style in another episode.